Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. In my last video, I spoke about prophecy, true biblical prophecy. Today, I'm going to be bolder and go a lot deeper. Understanding God's mind, how he thinks, is a process. Our simple human minds aren't fully capable of understanding it, this side of glory. But by studying the Word of God, the Holy Bible, we can begin to understand him and his plan and purpose for humanity. Jesus is the light of the world, and as such, we Christians and Jews believers in the one true God ought also to be lights unto the world. No one lights a candle and sets it under a bushel. They put it up on a prominent place so it can shine and others can benefit from its light. For years I struggled to understand the parable of the talents. Then the other morning while I was lying in bed thinking about the Word of God, it suddenly came to me. The talents are the measure of the Holy Spirit that God gives to his servants. The Holy Spirit is given to us in measures, whereas with Jesus, he was given the Holy Spirit without measure, which means that he was filled with the Holy Spirit. At the judgment, we'll be asked what we did with that measure of the Holy Spirit that he gave us just like in the parable of the talents. To my utter horror, I realized that I was that slothful and wicked servant who didn't do anything with his talent. He just hid it in the earth and then presented it back to God at the judgment. I didn't do anything to make it grow for the glory of the Lord. I have not been a light unto the world. I haven't set my candlestick up for all the world to see. And I haven't glorified the name of God. Looking back at my life, I can see that the major events were meant to keep me humble, to make me draw to the Lord. From my handicap at birth, to the death of my mother when I was a child, to my troubles in college and later in my marriage, and then finally now with this thyroid cancer. He's trying to get my attention. He's trying to wake me up before it's too late. Lately, I've noticed that the internet is full of end time messages. Biblical prophecies, are unfolding before our eyes. Non-biblical patterns such as the four blood moons which brought significant change to Israel in the past uh, instances are here again. Biblical laws like the Shemitah which is the year of release have well they were supposed to be blessings but um, during the last few actually have been progressively worse curses on us. Um, in uh, September 2001, we had the Twin Towers fall, and also shortly thereafter, the, uh, the stock market had a, a really big crash. Um, and then the Shemitah after that was in September of 2008, and that in there, we, uh, we had the largest uh, stock market crash ever recorded at 777.7 .7 points. So these and more all point to this year, 2015, as being extremely significant. So I am sounding the alarm. This is the year, folks. 
when I believe that the S is finally going to hit the fan. I expect a total financial collapse on September 13, 14, the, the, um, the Day of Atonement. And 10 days later, on September 23rd, 24th, I expect all hell to break loose. Do I expect to be attacked because of these bold claims? Of course I do. Do I really care? No, not any longer. So to my family and friends who think that I finally lost it, I say to the contrary, I finally found it. As I said before, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for the glory of the one true God. People, it's time to get right with Jesus. Getting to know and trust him is the only prepping that's going to give you any chance of survival and eternal life. No stockpiles of emergency rations. No stockpiles of weapons and ammo. No bug out location is going to save you. You need Jesus, Yeshua, the salvation of the Lord. I'll put links under this video of a few people who speak better on these subjects than I do, like um, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, uh, Renee Moses, Chuck Holler Sr., and a couple others. So you can click and hear their words. The time is short, so I'll also put a link to the book of John, where you can click and read the 21 short chapters, or if you really don't like reading, if reading's not your thing, you can also listen to them being read to you. And the book of John talks about the birth and divinity, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Reading it and believing it could change your eternity. The following is a short redemption prayer that you should write down and then read it out loud because you have to say this with your lips. Oh Heavenly Father, I confess that I am a sinner and have done wrong. I believe that you sent your only Son, Jesus, God in the flesh, to take the sins of all the people upon himself as a sacrifice to die for me and my sins, and to pay my debt in full. I believe that he rose from the dead, conquering sin and death once and for all. And at his second coming, I will be raised in eternal life with him forevermore. O Heavenly Father, I have blown the shafar to warn your people as you have commanded me. Just as you commanded Jonah, in the days of Nineveh. I pray for these people, but thy will be done. Father, please let me rest in the safety of your shadow, for my cancer journey has made me weary. In the name of your Son, Jesus, Savior of the world, I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. So remember to click the links under this video. They're very important. So until next time, God willing, I'll see you again. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat Survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.